Basic Concepts Strategy of teaching refers to the science of developing a plan to attain goal and to guard against undesirable results. It means the art of using psychological plan in order to increase the probabilities and favorable consequences of success and to lessen the chances of failure. Method of teaching refers to the series of related and progressive acts performed by a teacher and the students to attain the specific objectives of the lesson. It is a plan involving sequence of steps to achieve a given goal or objective. Technique or te of teaching refers to the personalized style of carrying out a particular step of a given method. It is a skill employed by the teacher in carrying out the procedures or act of teaching. Device is a teaching aid or tool to facilitate instruction like pictures, flashcards, etc. Classification of teaching methods Traditional, old-fashioned way of teaching Time-tested, methods that stood the test of time and are still being used at present Progressive, these are newer and more improved methods of teaching Planning what is a learning objective? A learning objective is a statement of what students will be able to do when they have completed instruction. A learning objective has three major components. A description of what the students will be able to do, the condition under which the student will perform the task, and the criteria for evaluating students' performance. What is the difference between a goal and a learning objective? A goal is a statement of the intended general outcome of an instructional unit of program. A learning objective is a statement of one of several specific performances, the achievement of which contributes to the attainment of the goal. A single goal may have many specific subordinate learning objectives. How do you write a learning objective? Focus on student performance, not teacher performance. Focus on product not process. Focus on terminal behavior, not subject matter. Three fundamental learning domains, cognitive, psychomotor, and affective. Active, affective domain, learning of beliefs, attitudes, and values. Psychomotor, learning of physical movements such as ballet steps, how to pitch a curve ball, how to drill out a cavity in a molar. Cognitive learning of the information and the processes of dealing with the information. Sex levels of cognitive learning as specific, specified by Bloom. Knowledge, comprehension, application, analysis, synthesis, evaluation. Levels of effective domain by Kratwals. Receiving... Responding, valuing, organization, and characterization. Levels of psychomotor objective. Observing, imitating, practicing, adopting. Correct instruction or lecture. Advantages. Teacher controlled. Many objectives can be mastered in a short amount of time. Lends to valid evaluation. Disadvantages. Teacher controlled, student involvement is limited to the teacher, depends in part to rote learning. Six steps in direct instruction. 1. Review previously learned materials. 2. State objectives for the lesson. 3. Present new material. 4. Guided practice with corrective feedback. 5. Assign independent practice with corrective feedback. 6. Review periodically with corrective feedback if necessary. Other teaching techniques. Brainstorming. Steps in brainstorming. Post question to class. Generate ideas with group. Accept all ideas. Go back to summarize. Discard unacceptable or unworkable ideas. Determine the best solution. Supervised study, common technique used in problem-solving instruction. Also, a major technique used in competency-based education pro program. A small group discussion, also called bus groups, huddle groups, Phillips 66. 
6 people per group, 6 ideas to be generated, 6 minutes. Games. Motivate students, reviews, check for understanding. Field trips and resource persons. Provide advanced organizers. Plant questions among students. Assign students to begin the questions. With itness, the teachers knows what is going on in the classroom at all times. Hawthorne effect, a phenomenon in industrial psychology first observed in the 1920s, refers to improvement in productivity or quality resulting from the mere fact the workers were being studied or observed. Pygmalion effect or Rosenthal effect refers to situations in which students perform better than other students simply because they were expected to do so. Placebo effect, the phenomenon that a patient's symptoms can be alleviated by an otherwise ineffective treatment apparently because the individual expects or believes that it will work. Jan Henry effect, an experiment made for competition between groups precisely because they are conscious of being part of an experiment. Halo effect describes what happens when a scientific observation is influenced by the observer's perception of the individual, procedure, or service that is under observation. Jacob Kuhn's theory. Ripple effect. <laughs>